Hello everyone and welcome to something very very different, a brand new adventure. The very first beginnings of a realistic, all vanilla asset City Skyline series. Yeah I know, it's it's kinda weird for me but let's just call it vanilla plus and it's a pretty big plus but I'll get into that in just a bit. In this series we'll do our best to focus on a few key areas. We'll focus on realistic builds using only vanilla assets, no custom props or uh, buildings or transportation hubs or anything like that. We'll focus on rapid expansion to at least attempt to achieve real life city scale. Since we're not using custom stuff, my computer should be able to run this pretty comfortably and we should be able to just expand faster overall. We'll focus on efficient handling of budgets and public services which includes strategic planning for education, fire and police departments, healthcare services, and all that good stuff. And of course, engagement with you guys, my awesome loyal viewers through various polls. Consider yourself the political council of this sunbathed Florida county. So where does this journey begin? Well, we find ourselves in sunny Florida, nestled in the eastern region of the Crystal Reef County the second smallest among Florida's 68 counties. It's just slightly larger than Union County in the northern part of the state. Yay, go us! To bring Crystal Reef to life, we are utilizing this beautiful vanilla map, Anhaven Keys by Sedai, enriched with custom map themes and LUTs, all of which can be found in the description down below. And you might wonder, why are we here and why vanilla assets only? Well, I've been considering doing a series like this for a while, as, as some of you already know, and I first revealed this idea a few months back in another video. And I guess it's to try out something very different from my usual style of workshop heavy high detail builds and to maybe gain a bit of appreciation for all those poor vanilla assets that I've never wanted to use. And to challenge myself before it's too late. Because City Skylines 2 arrives sometime this year, so there's a pretty good chance that I would never attempt a build like this one when that game releases. So it sorta has to be now, I think. And I think it's gonna present a huge challenge as well, given that I'll try my best to make it look and feel like a realistic city and county, but with the obvious restrictions that come with vanilla assets and budget and service management. And you guys know that I can't make money in this game, so yeah, we'll see. Why Florida then? Well, I've always been a sucker for a sunny, warm climate, lots of palm trees and beautiful beaches, and to be honest, I also feel that many vanilla assets do feel most at home here. The colorful roofs of the single-family houses, all the way to the funky designs of commercial assets and the 1970s inspired apartment towers. Yeah, Florida should be a nice fit. Now, to specify on the vanilla plus part, it's a pretty big plus because we'll be using a ton of mods in this series, both to make development easier for me, but to also make it more enjoyable for you guys. Uh, and thirdly, to improve realism. Uh, we can use mods such as Traffic Manager to improve traffic simulation realism and make it overall harder to improve and manage traffic. And we're gonna use realistic population and aging mods to have more realistic population flows in the city. But in general, the setup I have will require us to manage our budget, provide proper service coverage and build an actual real functional city. Although I guess since this is in Florida and we're striving for some sort of realism then proper service coverage is pretty relative. We might do some zoning even but let me just say that I have a pretty heavy case of PTSD from previous zoning attempts. So yeah, most buildings will likely be handpicked and plopped by me and that's fit for the theme I think. I mean we're the mayor, we're the city council we get to approve which developments go where, right? Alright, so where do we actually start? Well, let's zoom out and get an overview of this wonderful, wonderful map. What we see here is the, as I mentioned, easternmost portion of the Crystal Reef County in uh, central Florida. If we move more westwards here, what we'll find is that uh, these keys turn into uh, just a big chunky landmass uh, full of uh, good arable land and kind of boring plains and lots of palms so we've definitely chosen uh, the most uh, interesting part of Crystal Reef County to govern uh, so yeah this is where we'll be focusing all our efforts on this new adventure just analyzing the map we've got an outer layer of keys uh, these big islands this is like a peninsula that kind of extends into the county that is immediately south of here um, we've got some islands here that should be pretty fun to develop on as well and then we've got 
this chunky boy of an island here, which could actually host a pretty sizable city. I'm thinking sort of a Miami Beach uh, vibe here, where we will have, uh, you know, tons of uh, luxury apartments, uh, condo towers and hotels as, as well. A real touristy vibe. And then probably this main island here is a good fit for like the bulk of the city. So the, the big city on this, uh, on this map. Uh, I intend to have several cities throughout this county, that should be more fun, but we are of course gonna try and have one major city that is kind of the focal point of the map, and I'm thinking of establishing its downtown uh, right near this, uh, this, this interchange right here. Um, for this episode, we are probably just gonna start with the overall road layout to just get some of that basic infrastructure down, uh, because the most important thing that we get established up front is of course the, uh, you know, uh, electricity generating infrastructure and the sewage and water pumping uh, cap capabilities uh, otherwise i'm gonna go without power and we'll have some uh, funky poop water situations which i'd like to avoid uh, yeah really interesting having to manage things all, all of a sudden so without further ado we are going to commit to an act of god by picking up the district tool painting out a small district just as a starter here and there you go we've got a city with no name so if you got a suggestion for the name of the first major city here in crystal reef county please hit me up in the comments if you want to add a backstory then you know more power to you uh, i know just how creative you guys can get so i'm looking forward to all the suggestions and if there's one that just really clicks well, I might just straight out go full dictatorship mode and pick it. Otherwise, I am trying to, I'm gonna try and compile a vote and I'm gonna make sure it's a vote of, um, let's say, names that I can actually pronounce. Otherwise, we can end in sticky situations, which we have before, uh, you know. No, nothing mentioned <clears throat> Coniferia. Uh, so please, if you've got a suggestion, hit me up and uh, I'll see if I can compile a vote. I've been uh, rambling long enough now and it's time to place the very first buildings, the very first roads and just get going with the show, right? Uh, utilities first, electricity, so some sort of power generation station, uh, some sewage treatment and water pumping capabilities. We need to get that clocked in and then we can take it from there. I'm imagining that this uh, tight corner here next to the railway tracks is going to be a really nice spot. I want it to be close to this big beastie piece of infrastructure i think that's gonna look really cool and i would like to have sort of an industrial vibe in this area i even think this could be a pretty good uh, harbor at some point because there is a pretty good gap here for ships entering from the atlantic sea to dock um so uh, so yeah industrial themed over here at least uh, that's that's where my thinking is for now we'll start out with uh, just placing down a very very simple road layout uh, it doesn't have to be finalized, it's just to kind of give an overall idea of where we want to take this. Uh, so I'll just place uh, a very simple uh, cross-like construction here. I'm going to use the forest brush mod to just get some of this uh, foresty landscape out of the way and then we'll just assess. I am going to use move it to adjust the height ever so slightly. Uh, up till here and then I'm gonna pick all the other nodes and adjust to the same height to give us a nice flat uh, area to work with it's gonna make it a little easier for us and I think I'm gonna start out relatively easy here uh, up front just to just to make it easier for myself this is uh, this is all new territory for me mind you so I'm um, very excited but also a little nervous to be honest we've got a good flat uh, piece of landscaping here um, and I think the first thing we're gonna try and sort is our power uh, generating capabilities. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit pause because I'm already starting to lose money, and I know I shouldn't panic. It's five bucks a week, right? But things can snowball out of control. I know this. I've tried it a few times, <laughs> so we're just gonna hit pause and see what we can go with. We've got an advanced coal power plant and we are in Florida. We don't care at all about green energy, at least not for now here in Crystal Reef County. So I'm going to go with this one because just it looks a bit better than the other vanilla assets that we have available. 
Um, and I'd like for this to be very, very snug and close to the to the water. So we're going to place it here. Ideally, as a cold power plant, you have ships that can uh, enter here and depart, uh, bringing in shipments of coal. So what we are going to do is we're going to see if we can find a, a key, just a very simple one. And we're going to just see if we can align this with our coal power plant. Just a bit. And then we are going to need to lower the seabed here just a bit. So let's just see if we can. We're going to have to hit play because uh, the water physics are going to go absolutely ham now, of course. I use the pick mod here, which is something I use a ton allows me to select pieces of infrastructure or buildings or whatever and then uh, place them again. I'm just gonna expand the keys here ever so slightly. And I think I'm going to expand the keys outwards as well. We're just gonna hit pause quickly and we're just gonna go 90 degree angles. We're gonna select these nodes and just bring them up to the same height and then I'm going to use node controller to set the offset to zero. So we've got these uh, completely 90 degree angles. What I could do instead as well is to like have this be an individual key segment and this be an individual key segment and then use move it to kind of stitch them together. Uh, but this solution is quite a bit easier and we're going to do the same over here. Let's grab our, uh, our soft and terrain tool and just lower the brush strength a bit so that I can soften it a bit over here. Just gonna overall lower it a bit like so, but I want this to be a little softer as we, uh, as we kind of, um, you know, approach or sorry, as we move further away from the industrial area here, gonna grab some trees and try and cover up some of this. And it's gonna be a heavy usage of trees because I am Happily surprised that there are quite a quite a bit of cool, awesome looking trees now in the vanilla game. And that is definitely going to be a massive asset in, in creating this series overall. If you know my modded builds here on the channel, you know that I am a heavy user, almost an abuser even, of, uh, of awesome looking trees. Uh, they are the easiest uh, form of detailing I find and yeah, just helps, helps cover everything up a bit. We've already got our uh, advanced coal power plant screaming for water. That does make sense. And don't worry, man, I'm going to add it. Don't, just give me a second. Just going to remove the trees here. Now, ideally, what I'm looking for is like a prop of some sort that could go for, you know, a pile of coal. And I don't think that I've got exactly what I want, uh, but if I can get close enough, then that's that's fine because I'd like to have like piles of coal next to the to the power station here. So I'm just gonna look through pretty much all the props. Um, there are surprisingly few, but yeah, of course I don't really have my 10,000 assets with me now, so I'm gonna have to find something else. And I think these uh, concrete uh, debris uh, packs here, they are gonna, they're gonna be what I what I need. It's uh, it's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna place all three of those. There's even what is this? This is a. Okay, I can I can use these as well, I guess. Dirt pile, yeah, why not? Sorry, gonna remove that. We are just gonna need these. I'm gonna grab this apron, which uh, was recently added with the newest update. And some of you might be thinking, what's all the hype about this uh, air airport apron? Well, basically uh, when I make really detailed builds, I want to be able to place concrete. I know it sounds weird, but I do. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna place it here. And we're just gonna use move it to copy paste it just to fill out this entire area. There we go. Then we're going to grab our debris here. We're going to move that into place and we're going to copy paste a selection of them. And 
we're even able to raise them ever so slightly to create an even bigger pile actually which is uh, pretty cool now i know this is not actual coal but yeah we are gonna have to work with what we've got so that's what i'm doing here we're grabbing these uh, dirt decals to just throw around here just to add some detail to this whole area this is uh, a messy place to work of course and uh, yeah we'd we'd really like to reflect that I'd like to add like a really small access road of some sort to the coal piles here just for trucks uh, unloading and offloading we're gonna need adequate parking for all the people that work here and we've got the realistic parking setting enabled uh, in the traffic manager uh, mod so uh, people are gonna need parking that's for sure And then I'm just using these, um, these gravel paths as a very, very simple way of just adding just that, that tiny bit of extra detail. We are going to grab another apron, place it here. And then we'll need to remove these gravel paths. Of course, they do look a little odd. I'm gonna actually have to redo this because I misclicked. I'm gonna drag out this road, grab the apron, align it as such with the parking. I'm gonna grab the gravel path here and align that as, uh, uh, again. Let's see if we can grab uh, some sort of industrial building we can place here that would uh, kind of fit in. think this uh, warehouse would really do well and we're just gonna move it back ever so slightly as such and then we're gonna fence in the whole thing got this oil industry fence and I'm gonna be using different types of fences for the build of course really feel that that does add uh, a much needed layer of detailing to a, a vanilla build such as this. And we are of course going to just fence in this entire complex as well. I'm gonna grab this apron and see if I can kinda create a unique little addition here. Grabbing this, oh, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this uh, tiny road we've got. I'm I'm really trying to grab it though, but um yeah, <laughs> no luck there. Let's uh, let's do it the manual way. I guess I'll survive. And let's just enable some snapping. We'll move into here, and just go around like this, and then we'll place another uh, industrial facility here. So we are actually already starting to just add a bit of uh, a bit of industrial facilities um, which is which is fine kick starting a bit of the build we'll add another one of these wonderful warehouses here and we're gonna align it much better with uh, with the road this time around and I'm actually I think I'm gonna take this apron and I'm just gonna Copy paste it to give me a bit more space to work with. And then we're gonna detail up this area a bit with props, I think. Feel that would be nice. It is kind of slopey though. So maybe it's actually not the best spot. Otherwise, we would have to make it kind of asymmetric. No, we can do it like this actually. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll grab our trusty old fence here. will fence in this entire complex. Gonna go grab some uh, some suitable props. Could be as simple as uh, these uh, barrel palais. 
Just a ton of these. Cool. Grab some uh, a dirt decal. See if there's a, maybe a, a little extra prop we can use for added effect here. Uh, just just something to spice it up. Doesn't have to make a ton of sense per se. So I think I'm just gonna add a couple of garages back here. Line these up like so. And we'll add a container or two here. I guess we're going with two. Bit of dirt and there you go we'll need to add a bit of detail in between here along this uh, gravel path so um, that's what's next on the menu and this is not i mean this is uh you know a bit of nature in between the uh, industrial estate here so it's not exactly well manicured it's uh it's actually supposed to look really a bit wild and and untamed in uh, in nature so i hope that's something i can manage to uh, to convey here i'm gonna add these beautiful beautiful trees here to um, to cover it all up of course and i'm so happy that i get to use a lot of a lot of palms as well Speaking of which, let's uh, let's grab these palms and just add them throughout. And this tree is really nice as well. So that's that's like the immediate thing that's making me uh, really excited about this series already. That is that the actual trees that are now a part of the vanilla game, they are they are gorgeous. I mean, they they might as well uh, not be vanilla. So uh, and, and I guess there are you know custom assets made by asset creators that have then been bundled as packs so it's uh, it's perfect all right so with our advanced clean coal oh yeah let's just fix that advanced clean coal power plant in place uh, needing water of course i just i've just realized that our city is called las vegas and i know this is much shit but it's not las vegas either so let's just rename this crystal reef county there you go very important we need uh, we need water with the coal power plant in place uh one thing i'd like to do first though is just uh switch out these uh, parking lots for the other type of parking lots that came with the recent update uh really excited about this being uh part of the vanilla game it is something that if you watch my heavily detailed custom builds uh you know i care a lot about uh I care a lot about my parking lots in general. I, yeah, that's okay. That's sounds weird. That's that's a weird thing to care a lot about, but uh, I do. So um, we've got them placed now. Let's see if we can maybe are these planters big enough for for a palm tree? I think they are. So we'll just add that here, and I think uh, just continuing this uh, trend of having to play it uh, smart with the detailing since this is vanilla after all I'm just gonna add like a super simple fence to uh, to the parking lots here so if we just come around here we find the white markings uh, then this is a, a super easy way of just just adding that extra bit of detail to the to the build I'll just drag it over here and use move it to fix the last part here there you go Cool, I am quite liking that. Uh, one thing I should note is that I have re uh, enabled the realistic parking option in Traffic uh, Traffic Manager President Edition mod, which is going to be a very substantial change from a full vanilla game. It's actually going to uh, put pressure on, uh, on parking capabilities throughout the city. So I do expect to see uh, quite a bit of, of cars here, especially since we are, of course, also using the realistic population mod to... Um, which also, as far as I know, it also uh, changes up the amount of work workers uh, in workspaces, so offices, commercial, uh, industry. I may be wrong, but I think that's the case. Anyways, um, yeah, obvious issue. We don't have enough water to, to actually power the city. So uh, next up is uh, to 
to to add a bit of i think i'm gonna go with the sewage system first actually because uh initially i am just going to utilize the water tower to provide water and i'll just uh place it like uh, close to the close to the highway into intersection here so um we're gonna go with the the sewage treatment we're gonna grab this small road and just we're just kind of gonna continue with the the gridded layout makes it a little easier for us to build and i'll probably add in a few more industrial buildings as well just to get those initial uh, workplaces up and running um then we are we're at a really good a really good starting point for filling out this uh this new city here I'm going to grab all these nodes and just adjust the height so that everything is perfectly aligned and we can come in with some uh, terraforming as well to ensure that it's flat and easy to work with something like this and we'll just drag this ever so slightly We'll smoothen just a bit. There you go. And I'd like my sewage treatment plant to be placed somewhere in this vicinity. So uh, we'll just we'll uh, we'll have to see what we've got of options. I'm not gonna dump my poop water into the uh, the ocean. Uh, so I'm gonna use one of these inland water treatment plants, advanced inland water treatment plant, and eco inland water treatment plant. So let's just see the upkeep will be 480 for a 60,000 drain capacity. And over here we've got an upkeep of 320 for a 120,000 drain capacity. This is Florida. So this choice is as obvious as any choice could be. We're going with this one, of course. We don't want that green stuff. It's not necessary right now, I think. And I'm just going to flip this for a better fit something like this yeah we'll grab these uh, aprons here that we've used to uh, cover up some of the sand and it would be pretty cool if we could get uh, an industrial unit of some sort here as well that maybe has like a pumping based theme something like this that we could then potentially fuse into this building just to customize it a bit this, is, this actually looks kind of cool. Then we, if we move it ever so slightly. Can we do something like this maybe even? It's just to increase the, the size of it. And it actually just... I mean it will provide additional jobs as well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll need our a bit of parking of course. Let's go grab that. And then maybe I can add an additional structure at the end here and try to cut the parking a bit short as well because it's really nice with the parking lots but I don't have uh, <laughs> many different types of them. So oh, I'm writing something here. So... I want to try and be creative in covering up parts of the parking lots in uh, let's see in hopes of making it look like it's actually a little smaller than it is. Maybe if we place this but move this building back, we'll be able to like cut off the parking ever so slightly. Should we turn it around? We should. And we'll move it all the way in here. We'll flip it and we'll add one here as well. Just gonna grab these two and move it and align the heights to this node so that everything is still perfectly flat. And I'll grab this, and move out here and just, just make sure there's, that there's some access here. There you go, and I guess this kind of warrants that we continue our key here just a bit. 
maybe we can drag it up here we'll uh, we'll grab our node controller to just oh sorry make this node smaller reduce the offset there you go then i'm gonna see if i can align it real close here i can and i can adjust the height as well just gonna get some of this out of the way and we'll grab this apron again and just cover up we've got a bit of clipping here so i'm gonna move this back something like this and maybe the transition here could use like a bit of rocks or something so i'll uh, be interested to see what we've got available in the vanilla game ah, this one is quite chunky so i think i'm just gonna check the map for some smaller ones maybe these actually can i copy i'll just try and copy all of this move over here and see if it makes sense to like copy paste it mm, sort of not just dirt piles though I'll just remove them but these other rocks here pretty good fit cool we had these shrubs over here which i think we can use as well to just kind of cover this area up make it a little more wild looking very nice and i'm just gonna see if i can move this back ever so slightly something like this maybe nice so i'm not sure how a uh, fence is going to help here or if i'm gonna see massive clipping but if i do grab the all industry fence and place it how's that gonna how's that gonna look it actually looks absolutely fine but can i actually move it out here and exp nah <laughs> it's not gonna work <laughs> all right but this is uh this is cool as well Or I'll just move it here and we can adjust it down here. Awesome. And I'm just going to upgrade these keys to these simple C walls because I just think they look a little better. The super plain vanilla uh, keys we've got available. Yeah, they are just uh, just a little too plain looking. One additional thing I'd like to do is just to uh, reduce the size of these keys ever so slightly. So this is going to alter the look of them just a bit. And it's not going to be possible, obviously, in the full vanilla game. Um, but yeah, the keys are super bulky. So I'm just going just gonna to squeeze them just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. And I'd like to grab the stone that I used over here. And like put a few over here as well. We're going to do a bit of detailing of this area. Just to uh, make it look a little nicer. We've got some decals here we can use. Maybe even place them out here on the pier. Oh yes we can. That's pretty cool. And this one to just mix everything up a bit. There you go. Some uh, dirt to just stain it up a little. Really missing Ronix uh, stain decals right now. They are a little more subtle, subtle than than these, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll make do with what we got. Because this is a bit of a dirty area, right? It's a really uh, industrial area. Wonder if we can bring this road back here or if we're gonna... Yeah, we are going to just cause some terraforming issues if we do that, it seems. But if we could just have part of it. 
like so. Then I think that's a... Uh, it's not like you can fit a truck here, so... Hmm. We'll keep it. <laughs> and just, just add a little more vegetation down here. Maybe it would be cool if we'd got like a... Do we have like a fishing pier or some sort? We do. Maybe if I can uh, grab that and place it out here. Some fishing right next to, uh, to these dockyards, the industrial area. Come catch a fish with free eyes or something. And I think for this pier, we're just going to quickly make like a, um, like an improvised, I guess you could say, um, parking spot. And then have like a dirt track or dirt road that goes to it. Let's see if I can find this one. Is it on the rule? It is. All right. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that there's any actual cars I can place. I can place this old one, the smashed up one. I'm not sure why I did that, but yeah. I was looking for a car and that's the best thing I'm going to get, I assume. Um, but maybe there's like a little food truck down here as well. Uh, given that there is a bit of activity due to the, the fishing. And if we then get, grab some tables, or rather these uh, benches, then I think this is uh, a pretty cozy spot, actually. And I don't know if these these hang around markers actually work to draw in crowds in vanilla. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that. I, I'm hopeful that they work so that I can kind of create custom focal points uh, without the actual asset or building having to have like a, an entertainment or like a park bonus of some sort. I'm really hopeful that these work actually. But uh, yeah, please uh, let me know. Super simple detailing around these parts. Just trying to make it all uh, feel a little, little more lush and overgrown basically. But yeah, once again, really, really happy with how these uh, vanilla uh, trees uh, are looking. Let's have a little look at the spots. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the benches are a little, little wonky. So if I these like decals or surfaces, I should be able to yeah, grab this one and just lower it ever so slightly. That's probably a little better. Let's have another look. That's a pretty nice spot, right? I mean, you've got industry right next door, so not ideal, but it's a cool spot nonetheless, I feel. And I'll just grab some of these. Uh, sorry, we'll grab the dirt decals. And see if we can just cover up the sort of rough transition we've got here just a bit. Uh, seems we can. Cool. All right. So I think uh, next step is just adding a few more industrial to this area before we start mapping out some of the road networks here in the no name city. Uh, first up, uh, this is where you can sort of drop off the uh, the coal or fake coal, clean coal here. Uh, so I'm wondering if we can, if there's like a, a gate we can use of some sort, a paid parking gate that gonna do the job for us well it's actually a one way so i don't think that's gonna work and it's probably not necessary to drop off some coal so let's just jump 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 over to this industrial area to just fill it out a little more uh, and i'll try to see if i can continue talking normally let's go uh, see some of all these new fantastic um, industrial assets we've got available to us through the new content creator pack. These warehouses in particular are just 
they are just fantastic. It are uh, beautiful. And if we uh, just move them together a little bit, we can get some pretty good designs, I feel. So maybe something like this, where we can have parking on multiple sides. Awesome. It's a, a cool cluster there. See if we can find something else. We've got a warehouse here, which I suppose we can fit in on this small spot here. If we just adjust this road ever so slightly, grab both nodes and just drag them a bit with move it. Something like that. And then there's of course the question of rail. We should probably have some, uh, some railway tracks here because that's always super cool. Uh, next to uh, to industry so actually i think ideally i'd like to remove this entirely move this up here and then we'll grab this one-way rail segment here and we can have some rail all the way down here uh, i'm hopeful that's gonna be super cool i'll just see if i can just create like one track for starters and it's of course not gonna be functional oh sorry we're we gonna do like this it's a it's it's solely like a detailing measure but a cool one nonetheless if you ask me at least now ideally these wouldn't be i think these wouldn't be electrified right they'll they'd be without catenaries but i'm not sure i can actually remove them at least not without using mods so i think uh, for now we'll uh, we'll stick with them and i can see i have to just Ah, uh, I've got some texture fighting here. That's unfortunate. So question is, if it's actually better to... I think it's better that I uh, I go with like the full, the, the two, uh, two laner, if you could can even say that. Grab this segment instead and just drag it out. Yeah, that's much closer actually, surprisingly. I thought the single tracks would be the, the better solution, but uh, oh well. If we can just align this without having a lot of texture fighting or clipping. And it seems we can, so that's really awesome. Cool. Now, however, we are going to need to kind of drag it out here. And like so. And we, okay, this looks super weird. We'll see if this even works. I mean, that's a good start. So we've got a decent enough crossing, but it's uh, probably not what we want. I want the tracks to go over, uh, sorry, under this bridge as well. Let's just remove this. And we'll try and join this into one crossing. So I've had a bit of a look at this and I'm not quite happy just yet. So there's, I, I, I want to try something. So really, I mean, uh, bear with me on this one. Uh, it's going to be a little weird, but I've got an idea. So something cool you can do in the find it mod is that you can uh, click here, show extra filters panel, which will reveal this panel. And you'll be able to search for lots of different stuff. But the most interesting one is this sub buildings tab. If you choose that and enable, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be provided with the full, with the full range of sub buildings that you have available throughout your, you know, CCPs and DLCs. And sub buildings, you know, they make up larger buildings. So, for instance, in this particular case, it's like a half, like a, a stand from a big football stadium. Um, but something that is pretty cool is that if we search for cargo, we'll be able to see these big hub buildings uh, that are basically from the cargo airport and we'll be able to place these 
uh, ourselves, basically. Uh, and I think that is that's very, very cool um, because that allows us to make some industrial zones that look a lot more specialized and uh, less, I mean, less common vanilla, basically. Uh, this building, for instance, is just massive and very cool. So if we place this one, we can see that there's, of course, a bit of an issue in that it's actually missing like an end segment here. But we could theoretically fuse in like an office building or another industrial building to kind of cover that up. And okay, something that's really cool is that it has like an opening here. So maybe... Maybe we remove this segment. We stray. Let's. Can we? Can we just move this above it? Like this, so that it actually enters this building? I mean, that is cool. <laughs> that is very cool. Um, I'm ju I just need to get the alignment right. So I guess I will have to just move this ever so slightly. Something like this is probably better. And we'll just move it all the way through. Make sure that it goes underneath there. That's fine because it's being covered by this bridge. So it can, it can be ugly for all we care. But I am going to try and make this a little prettier. There you go. We'll grab this big boy and we'll move it right on top here. And oh yeah, we had this segment here we need to fix. So maybe if we do like this. Let's see the alignment. Something like this. Yeah. We just adjust the height of these. So that everything looks perfect. I'll move this. I'll hide this in here. Then I'll need to, uh, yeah, I'll need to cover this up with some sort of structure. So I'm thinking an office structure, or an you know, or an industrial structure of some sort. Uh, at least four in width. Could it? Nah, this one is it's it's not really tall enough. This one's just not very pretty, but could work. Uh, it doesn't have to be as deep, of course. This is more of an office. So I'm looking for something that's kind of anonymous, I guess you could say, in its looks. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, it would make sense to like attach an actual office building, right? To this place. So I guess it's uh, this one is too tall. Too tall. And we had this one, which is just ex extremely ugly. So I'm thinking this one, maybe. We'll see if we can just, can we just align these? Maybe make them like something like, uh, we're gonna cover up something here. We don't want that. So we'll make sure that we align here at first. Like this, and then this one we can adjust accordingly. Just kind of poke out here on the corner and we'll lower it ever so slightly. I mean, that sort of works, I suppose. I'll just add uh, more light color to these. Hmm. I've, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's fine. I'll just see if having perfect alignment is going to look a little better. It probably is. Yeah, and then we can even go as far as just moving this ever so slightly like so. Uh, and we are going to move the whole thing actually just a little back. There you go. Uh, a little more even. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Uh, a massive cargo distribution center of some sort. That is... That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, it would be cool if we could actually uh, create some sort of, you know, 
containers that are placed here as well. Um, but I think that might be for another time, unless unless we try to do that right now, actually. Just as a proof of concept test, I'd like to try it. Now what I'd like to do is see if I can find some props that allow me to kind of fake that we've got, um, you know, railway carts here with like containers on or something. So I need to find something that can sort of give off the vibe of being like the cart. Mm -hmm. This is going to be tricky. I'm just hopeful I can find something needs to have like the shape of a container right so this is like a post container um but it obviously needs to be a little smaller so that i can like put the containers on top we'll keep looking uh do, 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 do. what's this tank a tank for storing toxic and flammable liquids well this is gonna be a. Uh... That's going to be a stretch, is it? Whatever, let's just try. So we've placed this and it doesn't exactly have wheels, right? But I mean, there's something there. <laughs> oh man, let's grab a container. Post container, post it, and I will just uh, grab this uh, normal one. And I'll try to move that on top. I am completely derailing the episode now. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, I need to try this. Can I please select the container? Is that the small, small unit? It would appear so. Please Can I be allowed to just select the container. And then if we move it up. I'm, I'm, I don't, does it work? I'm just going to try and copy paste a few of these just to see if, uh, if it works. <laughs> this is so weird. Let's, uh, let's see. I'm going to keep it and I'll let you guys tell me in the comments what you feel, what you feel about this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it for now, um, just as a proof of concept. And if there's like a better way that you know of, please, I am uh, I am going to be all ears because uh, to build like massive industrial uh, uh, districts here in our in the cities we'll be building here in Crystal Reef, it would be awesome to get like these railway tracks like snaking in uh, and. Uh, and preferably, it would be really cool if we could kind of create a prop that mimics these cards in some way. I think that'd be really cool. Also, I am going to use the mod now to just remove the catenaries. It looks a lot better when it's uh, these industrial uh, rail, rail lines here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my my mod card here, and I'm gonna do that. So uh, it, it really helps complete the kind of like industrial uh, vibe, right? Uh, yeah, that's much nicer. Very nice. And then I'm going to grab this one. Do, 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 and we are going to create a line here as well. Like so. And we'll just make sure to merge it in. To, yeah, just here. That's fine. Let's move this back here by so slightly. Then I can delete this and I'll just add these real close here. And we'll just have the one I think and then we'll flip this one around and we'll sort of do the same. We'll we'll align it real close here to the to the tracks. 
so that the the industries here they you know they they sort of depend on like these uh, railway tracks we'll just make sure it's all flat and aligned we are gonna grab the aprons they are definitely needed here i feel maybe here as well but they don't have to cover up everything we can have like grassy bits as well a bit of detailing even so if we do like this then we've got just a bit of room for just a tiny bit of detailing which i do imagine uh an office like this would uh, would actually have in place so we'll see if we can grab like a tiny tiny bush And we'll just make super simple landscaping here but i mean we do have an actual office here so it's it's not just heavy industry there are you know people working in maybe like a an office setting with like a dress shirt on uh stuff like that so i think it makes sense to just have a bit of more formal landscaping uh just tiny pockets of it over here though with the tracks what i think i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna uh, i'm just gonna add uh, like a fence an industrial fence um and then we're just gonna have some shrubs here of some sort don't know just how realistic it is you they probably own this area as well and would utilize it utilize it to better effect than having it covered in shrubs but oh well it uh, it just i mean what i feel is that it kind of mixes up uh, the build just a tiny bit and uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna really need to be able to do to make uh, things kind of stand out and look a bit unique so we'll add some uh, some overgrown stuff here and of course there's a uh, I mean I'm, I'm all in now on the on what I've built here so now I'm gonna grab this and we'll be adding some containers over here as well. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, don't know how I feel about this uh, this way of building containers, but yeah, please. As I said, I am uh, really open for uh, for feed feedback on uh, on how to make that look nice. And in this case, I'm going to grab this apron and I'm just going to expand on the area that this factory or this, uh, yeah, this, this establishment, this, uh, establishment, this warehouse have available and I'm going to drag out to kind of fence it all in. So we'll just do something like this and we are going to go for some industrial props in here. And we'll just go for barrels, I think, for a starter. And some of these as well. So that'll have a, a bit of everything in here. That is actually quite a big, sizable lot that they have uh, available. And maybe I can just steal this and kind of mark some of this up that they don't want. Heavy machinery or trucks to be parked right here. So I'm gonna grab, um, move it, and I'm just gonna grab the whole thing and align it to the same height, which of course will require that I just raise these containers uh, a bit as well because they are obviously completely lowered now. That's not what we want, right? I'm just actually just gonna remove them and grab free from over here. Because they have a very specific height that we sort of need to have it look look all right and that means we need to lower something like this very cool we'll uh we'll need our dirt decal desperately needed And to not have this feel as empty, 
we are going to just place the last few um, industrial buildings on this side here. Uh, and they're going to be much in the same kind of style as uh, the other buildings we've been placing. So I'll, but I'll see if I can grab like some that are a little longer, such as these. Very nice. And I'm just going to align it over here because once again, they they would build the uh, these factories, these warehouses real close to, uh, to train tracks. Obviously, that gives some transportation advantages. And I'll just make sure that this place has a bit of uh, an access road as well. trees of course we will add trees this is kind of this is the extent of this uh, industrial area for now so we'll uh, we'll kind of shut it off with the uh, with trees to mark like a, a natural barrier here and one thing we can also do is we can just grab this and start copy pasting a bit to even have a bit of a small piece of forest here as like a natural border to the um to this industrial area which i i think is pretty cool um this uh these empty lots they suddenly deserve just a few more props so that's what we are going to give them something like that and if i'm not completely wrong i can even find a truck of some sort in the sub building oh yes that's pretty cool. Uh, and I can see it X as a house, so I can need, need to adjust the height. There you go. Very nice. guys we've got our first finished area of the of the new project uh, the first industrial zone let's see if we can just uh get some sweet colors and uh, maybe have a, a little look around we'll adjust the field of view a bit and get some nice lighting going and then we can take a look i'm pretty happy with how this turned out i am um yeah pretty content so um, lots of stuff that I've already learned. It's uh, it is tricky getting things to work with just you know uh, vanilla assets, vanilla props and decals. Uh, but of course, uh, something that is obvious is that the the mods are, are helping quite a bit. They really just um, they enable me to work with as much freedom as possible with uh, with uh, with these vanilla assets, and that that certainly helps. Really happy with the. A cozy little area we've got created down here where you'll come and and uh, go for a bit of uh, a bit of a fishing and you will uh, hit up the food tr uh, truck of the floating food truck why does everything float in my game hmm there you go the the floating food truck you can grab a good fish taco after afterwards um, while enjoying the views of this industrial zone, uh, of course, you'd actually be looking this way where it's, uh, it's a little more pleasant. But yeah, very happy with the, with the looks of this area, I must say. Um, I am going to create a district of it because I'd also like to, you know, be able to track just how many workplaces are here. And I mean, this needs a name as well. It's, uh, it's actually quite a substantial area. 
uh, or at least I expect there to be quite a few jobs here because with the addition of these office buildings, uh, which are like the administrative buildings for the this major uh, cargo uh, distribution facility here, um, yeah, there are many jobs. I mean, there are like 300 workplaces. Uh, most of them highly educated in these two buildings so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a lot of trouble early on actually getting these guys the highly qualified workers that they demand but yeah that's a uh, that's another issue entirely so for the actual name of this area um, i don't have much creativity i'll just call it riverbed if you got a better suggestion then hit me up in the comments as well i'll uh, i'll pick a nice one uh, not the most creative option I've gone for here. Now, I've got to be honest, uh, creating Riverbed took a lot longer than I had initially anticipated, but I guess it's because I didn't really know that I could do all this much detailing with just vanilla assets. Uh, so with that said, we, we really need to get something going over here as well. Uh, so the first thing I'd just like to at least get done is like have our main road cut through the area so that we've got sort of, you know, a base to work on uh, from the, the next episode at least where I do want to to start developing the city. So I think as a, as a good start, if we just start by uh, getting like a, a major road uh, placed down here. So the sort of the, the main road of the city for now uh, and maybe with a bit of a bend here. Then I think that is a 10, a distance of 10 between the palms. Nah, let's go for 20. I'll just upgrade. There you go. That's a little more to my liking. Um, something to say of the city is we're going to start small and then we're going to try and rapidly expand it. So instead of building like a fully fledged downtown in like the next episode, we're going to start a little smaller and then we're going to work our way out and we're going to work our way up, of course. Hopefully doing some rapid expansion as soon as I get some good, uh, you know, a good feeling for uh, the techniques that I'll need that I'll need to use to uh, to be able to build relatively quickly and to have it have it look nice as well, of course. Now, something I'd like to do is just add a more straightforward connection here so that this highway that crosses here uh, and turns eastwards before it heads south into the uh, Indian River County uh, is actually also sort of a, like a main road that connects up here. So what we are going to do to achieve this is uh, quite simply to create a direct connection to the highway. Something like this. And we'll see if we can get this to work. It's gonna require a bit of finesse it seems. Because this is not working at all, is it? It is going to work. Don't worry. We gotta we gotta trust the process for now, I think. So we've got a node here. So if we move that ever so slightly, uh, then we can get a much tighter fit here. That's pretty good. We'll do. Whoa, bo bo that looks awful. Can we? Is this saveable? Node controller helped me. There you go. What a wonderful tool. Saves the day by sloping out the node. Really happy with that. Uh, so that's much more like it. Then if we can maybe drop this segment down. So basically lower it while yeah, we can't really elevate this much higher, can we? Actually, I've decided that we can. So if we just grab this, um, we provided a bit of an elevation. And what we can do is we can use the slope mode from node controller or sorry the network multi-tool and we can create a better slope here and we can adjust this slope as well and here we don't want to mess with the slope because we kind of need this ele elevated segment so if we just come in here and we upgrade this to an elevated segment entirely uh, then that's actually pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, we should probably work to lower this just a bit more. There you go. And maybe if we're really cheeky, we'll work to actually raise this just a bit more. Something like this. So 
we don't want uh, like a really obvious bump here but we did need to just raise it ever so slightly and we'll raise this segment we'll grab this pillar move it at an angle and then maybe create a sister pillar over here there you go and we'll we'll detail this up with some um some stuff afterwards i guess i should really consider upgrading this to an elevated segment as well yeah that is a little better i'm going to grab these nodes and i'm going to lower it a bit to just create a more smooth transition here which uh, shouldn't be a problem We'll just smooth this out ever so slightly. Thank you. And we'll create, uh, we'll adjust the slope all the way over here as well. Make that look much better. There you go. And this needs to be lowered to the same height. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have some issues. Can we just raise it slightly? We can. Because I, I don't want any clipping here. That's going to be super odd, of course. And if we just slope this segment, then we are happy. Now, obviously, we've got some floating uh, stuff here. So what I can do is I can just grab everything with move it and go down here and say to terrain height. There you go. That adjusted everything. So it looks uh, awesome again. And that creates one initial connection. What I also want, of course, is for this highway here to have an easy connection. So if we just come in here, then maybe we are able to... Yeah, I'm just going to drag it out and then I'll do the, I'll do the micro adjustments with, the, with my mods. That is easier. Please go away. And it that that works. All right, ish. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's gonna that's the mantra for now. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so uh, the next one is a little more tricky because I want to basically a bridge all the way out here and connect mm -hmm. something like this Oof, this is a rough run let's see if this is even possible we'll adjust this height so that we make sure it's all the same height mm -hmm. we'll move some of this uh, nice forest stuff out of the way this is uh, not great. We'll need to adjust the height here, obviously. So that it's the same height. There you go. I guess there's a little bush here we can remove. And we, we need to remove some stuff here as well. And then we need to elevate this. Uh, oh, this is so tricky. Tricky, tricky infrastructure. But I mean, the final result should, I'll just, if I can just get the cars to move a bit. I just need clearance for like a large truck. So I think that's actually, this is, this is fine. This is what we need. Nothing more. Remove these and we'll try and adjust the height here as well. Make it a little smoother. Cool. Awesome. The last one we are going to need is just going to connect to this one. So that should should be fairly simple. We'll drag this out and just go down here and we'll connect somewhere up here and I'll just make this kind of hug the highway here right next to it. Gonna use forest brush. I need to clear this out. Uh, not quite, I guess. Need to 
elevate this a bit. There you go. It's, uh, it's not beautiful, but it's mine. Uh, not beautiful at all, actually. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a start. It's a start, guys. We we just need a proper connection here. Um, and yeah, it, it's definitely a start. All right, it's a start. We've got our water tower. It's uh, maybe a temporary solution. It's our small solution for now because I don't want to really have pumps running right now. I don't really like the, the look of them, at least not in this area uh, in Riverbed. And we've, uh, of course, drawn our, um, our sewage uh, utilities or our water pipes uh, below streets because that's what any good city would would do naturally and uh, we've connected it all up so that we've got uh, power connection actually running we've got power running to the water tower is what I'm trying to say here when I place these uh, power lines they're they're not the prettiest uh, but what I uh, did do is I tried to like uh, create as much distance between them as possible so as you can see there's quite a bit of distance between these and there's a bit of distance between these and then yeah I guess I guess it actually looks all right when you do that and the actual water tower uh, asset from the vanilla game uh, is actually quite decent looking as well if you ask me uh, so now we are pretty much set up to start constructing um, an actual city I guess we're gonna need some you know waste management as well but there are so many things that we need, uh, but it's it's not gonna be in this episode because I really need to wrap this up. I've yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a long one, especially when I do it in like a let's play format with lots of just live commentary while playing. Uh, but I'm very very happy with how we uh, we've managed to start out this series. Uh, I think it's yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun to experiment with, and I cannot wait to dig into no name city once again really looking forward to you guys suggestions and you know some of the backstory i'm hoping we can find a really cool name for this initial city and as well you know if you've got a, a cool suggestion for you know uh an industrial area like this hit me up i'll be more than interested to uh, to take a look and, and rename because riverbed come on i don't know it's me you know so yeah it's a uh, par for the course to have awful names Anyways, this really wraps about wraps it up. If you've stuck with me for this long, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you really want to help me, a liking, commenting, and subscribing and enable notification is gonna do my channel and this video wonders. And it's of course enable you to get gonna enable you to get notified as soon as I upload the second episode uh, of this exciting new series, uh, or as soon as I upload other stuff i do shorts as well i do extremely high detailed you know custom series as well so yeah if you don't want to miss out feel free i've also got a patreon where you know the entry is one dollar a month and for that one dollar a month you get early access to most of my videos uh, including this one uh, so if that's something you'd be interested in have a look at that as well anyways I'm wrapping up. I can't wait for the next episode and I'll see you guys in that one. I'll shoot some juicy cinematics now to wrap it all up. Thank you. Goodbye.